Well, good morning and welcome to our Facebook Live Friday. I'm Jody Seeley with Our High River. And on the show with us this week, I'm so excited to have Lieutenant David Moretta with the 187 Foothills Air Cadet Squadron. Welcome. Well, you even dressed up for it, I so I'm feeling to, pretty good. You, I know. Thank you so much for having me. I'm just delighted to be here. Well, it's really cool. And I, w I wanted to start off, I hope you're okay with chatting, is just, I feel like we hear about the cadets a lot in the community and we've seen you with the, I can't remember what it was, the Freedom of the City? Is it that was what the Freedom of the City ceremony, yeah. Yeah, we see you at a lot of our Remembrance Day ceremonies, but I don't know if a lot of us really know what happens with the air cadets and, and and what do you guys do really yeah. it's hard so pardon my ignorance but i've always been curious to know kind of what kind of cool things you guys are up to no that's quite all right it's kind of a program that uh, that's has hidden in plain sight um but it is actually the largest federal youth development program uh in canada uh there are well over fifty-two thousand uh young adults involved in the program and so it is national and um, it is very involved in, um, it's, a, it's a positive social youth development program, so it's involved in um, developing in youth the attributes of physical fitness, um, an appreciation for community, um, leadership, uh, citizenship, and we really try to tie all those things together as, as well as we can by interacting with the community as much as we, as much as we can. Um, we haven't always been as good as, as we should be, and so we understand that, that you know, some people need to be sort of brought up to speed on the cadet program. Um, but it is uh, it's a terrific, terrific program. I was a cadet when I was younger, um, and I got back involved with the program specifically because it would, what it brought to my career um, as an adult, and I wanted to get back to the program. Yeah, well, I was wondering, because I know in your, in your previous life, we'll say, you were a, like a big mainstream media guy, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous to do a video with you because you actually know what we're supposed to be doing, one no, like no, myself, no. but it, it's just cool, I think, to see you know, when people's lives and you know, shift and change and, and how involved and how much you've done for the cadets program here is pretty fantastic. I had a wonderful career, I worked for Global News, um, but I could, I could see what cadets had given me um, as far as developing my confidence and my leadership abilities. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get back involved again. Now, is it fair to say that people maybe, you know, we don't know what we don't know. So when we mm -hmm. see, you know, kids in uniforms and cadets and we think, oh, I, I don't know if I'd want to sign my kids up for that because then they're going to join the army or whatever it might be. Like you just, you don't understand what the program's leading kids to do. Yeah, most people that are involved in the program uh, wind up having no association with the military whatsoever. There is absolutely no commitment to join the military. Uh, it's the way that the program is structured. It is an opportunity for the military to give back to Canadian society. So the military um, is responsible for um, providing support. And if you're going to be an officer, you have to be in the reserves to be able to sort of teach the program. There are lots, though, of civilian instructors that are not in uniform. Um, but again, though, I, you know, I can't stress enough, there's absolutely no commitment for cadets to actually become part of the military. If they're so inclined, it can certainly help in the process. Yep, yeah. um, we have two uh, former cadets that were with us that are currently going to the Royal Military College in Kingston, Ontario, uh, to become uh, officers in the military. Uh, so certainly, if that's an option for them, then it's a good, it's a good way to start. But uh, you, do, you don't have to. Yeah. Um, I think either way, but I, I wondered if people were worried, you know, if they were you know, if they were afraid, I don't think it's honorable by all means, and if it's a, a great stepping stone for that, but if people just wanted to get their kids involved in something where they have a really cool opportunity to belong and learn, this well, would be it. It's yeah. one of the it's one of the you know, few programs where you can actually see your federal tax dollars really you know, giving back to the community. Uh, the, you know, the opportunities um, for youth development uh, are fantastic for travel, are amazing, uh, even for the adult staff. I spent two summers in Whitehorse uh, in the last couple of years as well. Uh, so there are so many opportunities that the program can provide. And, and of course, there are absolutely no fees. Uh, it is free to join. The really? only thing, there's no fees whatsoever. Cool. Uh, the only thing that we ask is that uh, parents uh, and the cadets uh, help do fundraise for additional events um, that, that may happen throughout the year. But that's the only commitment that we ask for. So, it, you know, 
when the economy is struggling a little bit, uh, people really start to see the benefit of, uh, of a program like this. So that is one of the reasons why we're seeing I our numbers. I had no idea it was yeah. free. No, it, so. so it is provided you know, through the military with um, the assistance of three civilian leagues, the Air Army and uh, the Sea Cadet Leagues, uh, but uh, there's no cost to join. That is so cool. So when it comes to the fundraising part, we're going to talk about this cool one you have coming up. But first of all, I just wanted to mention, it's your it's your guys' 75th anniversary of having cadets in our community, which I think is like fantastic. Yeah, so this year is um, is a really important milestone for us. Uh, 75 years is a, is a big event in any organization. Um, but it's, it's very important, I think, for us to help mark our commitment and our, and our connection to the community as well. So if you did, you were there, you did yeah. uh, see it. If you, if you saw our Freedom of the City ceremony, that was very important for the organization to get that, that, uh, that distinction and that, that um, uh, not recommendation, but um, acknowledgement yeah. um, you know, of our connection and our service to the community. Uh, and some of the other things that we're going to be doing this, uh, this year as well, um, we are going to be having a, uh, a, we're building towards a final year-end trip. Um, we don't take trips outside of the province, this unit, very often. So it's a, it's a big event, it's a big expense though. Uh, right now we're running about 80 people involved in the unit, uh, 80 young people. So we want to take as many of those people with us as, as we can uh, on a special trip to be able to really mark the event. And we're working towards uh, raising money for that right now. So the other major event that we have coming up still is, is our gala fundraising dinner on the 14th. Yeah, now this looks really cool. And there's still tickets available if people want to join you. So it's next Saturday, so October the 14th, you're having a fundraiser. And you're bringing in probably one of my favorite speakers. And I have to say that I think because we're childhood friends. But uh, Chris Cook is coming to be a part of this. And if you have not had the chance to see this, guy speak it is going to blow your mind i am so looking forward to this i've only seen videos um i haven't uh, heard chris speak in person before but i am so looking forward to it because the, the message is exactly what young people need to hear that you can accomplish anything that you want there are no limitations uh, and that is really the embodiment of what our organization is trying to instill in young adults um, that you can do whatever you want with your life you just have to go out there and try and so I'm looking forward to this. Uh, this is going to be a, a very interesting night. Um, the... You will laugh. You <laughs> will undoubtedly laugh. And I, you know, he was like, he basically was like the brother I never had. So growing up, I didn't think this little annoying guy would ever become anything <laughs> substantial. No, I'm just kidding, Chris. Uh, but he's, he's got a cool way about it. And to kind of paint the perspective for people, he's a quadruple amputee. So he, he gets around most mobily on a, a longboard, on a skateboard, and he's done marathons, he's done fundraisers, or he's climbed the stairs at the Calgary Tower in way less time than I could with two, what I would try to call, able leg. Like, he is just fantastic, and his attitude is so cool, because his whole philosophy is, if I can, and that's what his, if you want to check out some of the videos. And he's traveled the world just doing whatever he in can. Fact, I, I think yeah. he's in South Africa right now, so yeah. um, I'm looking forward to hearing about his adventures around the world, and uh, I'm really looking forward to that evening. Uh, we would love to have you if you'd like to actually show your support for the cadet organization and 187 Foothills. Uh, there are tickets available, and uh, you can you can buy a ticket for $75. Uh, we will issue a $30 tax receipt as well as part of the ticket. Um, it is a, a full dinner and a, a silent auction, as well as um, Chris, our, our uh, motivational speaker. So it's going to be a great night. Uh, if you'd like to be able to support the unit, that would be terrific. Um, I'll just give you the contact information quickly. So it's at the Memorial Center, which is not the Memorial Center anymore, I believe. I think it's just the Highwood Center now. Uh, but it is October 14th. And uh, if you want to get tickets, you can call Diane at 403-922-1585 or Siobhan at 403-612-4537. Or you can send an email to 187foothillssc at gmail.com. And we can take check, cash, or e-transfer. Awesome. Now, there is a Facebook event page that is there has is. a lot of these details too and i believe we've shared that on our facebook page but we'll do that again just so you can get the uh, additional details because 
in case you're watching you're like what did he just say <laughs> we gotta write that down the cool thing about video though is they can rewind it can back rewind later it and back play more. it more but we will post that is there a deadline for people to get tickets um next tuesday we have to put in the actual uh, number for catering uh, so we'd like to have an idea of, of the final number by next tuesday all right so over thanksgiving this weekend while you're having turkey and hanging with the family maybe it's something you'll want to uh do sign up get your tickets think about it so next weekend you don't have to cook exactly and you should come for a change you don't actually have to do it i know you can just come in and relax and i enjoy don't it. i don't know if i've been to a community event where i've just <laughs> sat through the whole thing that would be an interesting change well, so <laughs> it would be great well david thank you so much for hanging out with us this morning and anytime you guys have stuff going on we welcome you to come and join us here uh, with our High River and, and let everybody know because this is so cool. Well, thank you for the opportunity, Jody. It's it's really important um, and we really appreciate the support. Awesome. Thanks Have a so great much. day and happy Thanksgiving, happy you Thanksgiving. guys. Have a great weekend.